by all the accounts of the residents and eyewitnesses in Sanaa that I've been speaking with the past few days, the, the violence, uh, the clashes in the capital city are escalating now. It, it, from the people I've spoken with in the past few hours, it seems it's quieted down a bit now. But, but during the overnight hours, it was getting quite bad. Um, uh, many of the people in Change Square, these are the anti-government demonstrators that are having their sit-ins in the epicenter of the anti-government movement there in the capital. Uh, they were quite afraid. Uh, at one point, there were reports from some of them that uh, they were seeing snipers on rooftops of nearby buildings. Uh, and also, there were reports from some of them that they had been fired upon by gunmen at some of the entrances to Chain Square, that gunmen that were outside were aiming directly into some of the protesters inside of Chain Square and firing at them. Now, that is something that's different from the clashes that are ongoing in Sana'a. The clashes are going on between tribesmen loyal to the El Hasha tribe. That's the, that's the most powerful uh, and largest tribe in Yemen uh, who've been battling it out with forces of President Ali Abdullah Saleh for about 11 days now in the capital. Pitch street fighting that's been going on. Uh, it seems like all-out warfare, uh, according to the eyewitnesses. I've been speaking with in the streets of the capital. Um, they've been hearing explosions for hours on end. They're saying there's missile attacks going on, uh, tanks in the city, armed tribesmen, lots of different clashes. Uh, yesterday there were reports that the country's airport in Sana had been shut down for several hours. Inbound and outbound flights not allowed because the clashes were getting even closer to the airport and there were security concerns. So, a very, very, very chaotic scene in Sana. A lot of the residents that I'm speaking with are saying that they're actually afraid to leave their houses because it is so intense in the streets. Many are reporting that there are hundreds of people evacuating the city trying to get to other parts of the country because it is so bad in the capital right now.